This video of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker is made possible by the continued support of amazing viewers just like yourself. So, thank you. Let's start off with more coins galore. Our third time going and getting a ton of coins and hopefully another one up. First time playing it as Toadette. We're gonna go back to the pickaxe because yeah, that, uh, ooh, it's different this time. Ooh, cool. All right, so how do I, oh geez, it is very, very different this time. Just go grab the, oh, I totally messed this up. Yep, okay, wow. We only got 100 coins that time, okay. So at least we know that the coins, the the patterns and everything are going to be different depending on which time we end up going with here. So let's go back into it with a sliding slab shuffle. I was going to say sliding fab, sliding fab shuffle. That's, that's when the lisp is really bad. All right. So let's get a look at what we're doing here. My name is Brian Saviano, by the way. Welcome to more Captain Toad Treasure Tracker on the Nintendo twitch the twitch right that's the name of it yeah no it's called the switch can i stop these yes please i can oh boy yes stop you in your tracks stop it oh that can trigger that to stop them Ooh, that's cool okay so let's go up here i need to zoom in i need to actually see what i'm doing here okay i need to move you and now go up here yeah there we go how do i get over there oh maybe I um like if I fall no that won't do it actually huh I don't know weird okay well I'm I'm mini Toadette right now actually that's a lie I'm normal Toadette now yay so yeah we're still playing as Toadette we're gonna be doing the next uh, six levels this time around and I nearly would have had to restart that whole thing if I didn't uh, okay um oh geez oh ooh, yep I gotta restart the whole thing again okay so I want to do this does that work? Yes, it does. Go, Toadette! Yay! There we go. We got it. We got our power star for this level here. So, still playing, like I said before, as Toadette. There are 18 levels here. And we got that done with five coins. Oh, we have to clear the course in four touches. So, with the magic of editing, it's a brand new day. Let's go into these spooky specters of Shadow Mansion at Shadow Manor. Oh, boy. Oh, you ever wake up on the wrong side of the bed and it's just, ew, you just feel kind of gross? Why would Toadette turn the lamp off? What? What did I do? What did I do? Toadette, turn the lamp on. What? Hold on, wait a minute. What did I do? What did I do? How do I turn the lantern on? What did I do? I have no idea what I just did. I was introing the video again, and now I'm gonna get run down by all these boo. Like, I can't figure out how to turn on the, the lantern again. Oops, well, I ever wake up on the wrong side of the bed, and it's just, uh, oh hey, there's, I knew that blue toad was there from before. Okay, so wait, let's see. It's not the D-pad. It's not L or R, or Z, R, or Z, L. A, B, Y. Y, that's how you do it. Okay, cool. Yeah, you ever wake up on the wrong side of the bed and you're just in an awful mood? That's what mood I was in yesterday. And I was trying to play Captain Toad and I was just not having a great day. So you know what I did? Instead of trying to be like, oh, let me force myself to uh, try to be all energetic and whatnot. What I do, what I do is uh, I took the L. I took the loss. Which means I just kind of said, you know what? Today's not a video day. Today is a day for me to... What did I do yesterday? I don't think I did actually anything productive at all. It was actually a really, really kind of lackluster day. But I, uh, you know, made sure that I wasn't in an awful mood. And I did uh, the very best I could. So you know what? That sometimes happens, kids. You just you wake up and you're like, nope, today's not the day. Today is not the day, and it wasn't the day yesterday, but it is the day today, so welcome back. So if it seemed like I was super, not angry, but like I wasn't myself or wasn't super, ooh, there's that, uh, or that's not how we get up there. You know what was also aggravating was I didn't know exactly where to go in this level here. I didn't know where I was going because you can't really see because it's all 
kind of hidden areas around here and I remember actually finding the way to go and it was already when I decided you know what today's not the day so is it I don't have to tap anything specific I know that but it is around here somewhere so now it's a brand new day I need to zoom out I need to get a better grasp on what's going on here you know secret area here there's that area and then this area here and that's it right we went up there Nothing happens. Oh, we are supposed to go over here. This is supposed to be the way, right? Is this the way? Yes, it is. Wow. See, you know, some days it's just... Some days you're just in a bad mood. And you know what, kids? It's fine. It's totally fine. It doesn't mean it's, it's going to be a bad week or a bad month or a bad anything. It's just today's a bad day. And we work through it together with the power of OxyClean. No, I'm kidding. And if it looks like I uh, just woke up from a nap, that's because I absolutely just did. I, uh, I took a nap on my oddly comfortable futon that I have in my office because, you know, you gotta make sure you're energized. Hello, big boo. Big ol' boo. And stay back. Heathen. Heathen. Stay back. Don't hurt me anymore. You heathen. Okay. Now. Ooh, there's a star. I was gonna say, all right. We get it. Where's the star now? All right, so it's right there. That should be it. Cool. See how easy that was? But the mood dictates not ah uh, yeah, it does dictate everything. So you could be in a really good mood or really bad mood. You know, it's just a frame of mind. You got a nice glass of water. You're hanging out. You know what I mean? It's all good. You got to stay hydrated. So I and I also kind of ran out of things to talk about. We never have to go back there ever again. Cool. Um, I didn't really have anything to talk about yesterday either. Quick tip, I don't care. Because they just mentioned how to press the, um, the minus button. Dragadon's Revenge. Oh, there we go. Cool. So we're going to reface this boss again. I think these are the same. You face off against the same two or three bosses, like, multiple times. So it looks like my hair, my hair is everywhere. It's all everywhere. Look at this. Look at this. It's ridiculous. Uh, how unprofessional I am. You know? How can I... How can I be mad when I have my hair all like this? It's like flo floofing up everywhere. Look at this. Look at this monstrosity. Now, I'm not talking about the boss. I'm talking about my hair. Look at this. There it is. Boom. Like, how can you how can you frown with, <laughs> with a hairdo like that? Go. Turn, turn, turn. Turn, baby. Turn. Yeah, this is going to be tough because just of the, the, like, the perspective of this boss in general. Oh, geez. What's happening here? Oh, go, go, go! Ooh, Toadette just fell into a pit of lava to her death. Sorry, Toadette. Let's try that again. Okay. Not totally too far, so we can kind of skip that. And he just randomly appears. I love that. Like, it kind of wonks out a little bit. Can I? Oh, I can't actually press the R while turning. Yes, that's what I did. It actually forces you to rotate that every time you're on there. That's interesting. So I'm going to wait here. Like, it still throws me off that it, the camera doesn't move on its own. You still have to, like... Oh, I knew that was one with multiple coins. Cool. So can we go for a one-up here? Is that going to be possible? Ooh, nope. Ooh, ooh. Mm. We avoided the fireball, but still died. Oops. One more time, or... Yeah. I love how he randomly appears. Uh, and he still has a bump on his head. Aw. Uh, that's cute. That's adorbs. All right, come over here. We're just going to ignore this. Go. Okay. Stay here. And the coins look like they do not carry over. So we need to grab those coins again every single time. Let's wait for that platform to actually be on our level, right? Or no, actually. Yes. Okay, cool. Because that platform, it didn't need to be on our level. Let's go down here. Can we grab this? Ooh, that's a, that's a big old gold mushroom. Cool. Oh, geez. Okay. Uh, oh, we should have gotten that um, that diamond, but oh well. That's fine, too. Thank you. And now we head on up. Yeah, I didn't have anything to talk about yesterday, either, which now... Hello? Okay, I thought that was going to really mess me up. Um, I didn't have anything to talk about, which I guess I kind of do now. Uh, I went to a concert last night. That was pretty fun. I went to a concert for Kesha and Macklemore. At the, uh, the Xfinity... Hello? Pile of lava? Sure. Okay. Um, at the Xfinity Center, 
which uh, Macklemore is one of my more favorite um, artists that I like. Um, oh, we're going up now with this thing. I get ya. So he's a hip hop artist. I like a lot of hip hop, but um, you know, it's not a very family friendly uh, medium of entertainment. So I don't talk about it very often, but I really like Macklemore a lot. He's one of my uh, more favorite, or, mm, more favorite artists, but I'll continue the train of thought when I get back up there. Okay, there we go. I just barely made that one too, so, oh geez, hello. Uh, so yeah, I'm a fan of Macklemore. He's the guy who uh, made the song, I'm gonna pop some tags, only got $20 in my pocket. That uh, thrift shop song and can't hold us, so it's obviously been on the radio. And, you know, I think kind of if Kids Bop has done it, I can talk about it, which I think Kids Bop has done it. Not, not that Kids Bop is the whole, the standard that I talk about music with, but uh, I went to that concert last night. I didn't scream my head off because I know I needed to do videos uh, today. So I've seen him three times now, and that was uh, very fun each time. I very much so enjoyed it. He uh, played all the, most of the songs I w wanted him to. Uh, a lot of the songs he... Uh, didn't typically play. Well, the songs that he would typically play, he didn't. Wow, my hair really is. is I, oh, but we're going with the bit of it all being uh, all lashing out everywhere. There we go. That's fine. Uh, usually, why am I doing this again? No. Get back out of here. Um, yeah, the ones he would normally do, he didn't because he was on tour with Kesha, who is uh, an artist who. Oh, what's that artwork right there? Farewell, Pyropuff Peak. Oh, is this not really a level? Or maybe it's, uh, is she riding on the dragon? Oh, yes, she is. Oh, man. Oh, we can just grab a ton of coins and stuff here. Oh, it's a recreation of, um, this level here. Cool. Um, I don't know if that actually, like, does any... Th what is the point of this level right here? I have no idea, actually. Uh, we're just tapping away. And seeing what happens, because nothing is affecting us. Toadette is not being harmed. Oh, breathe fire. Oh. Oh, that's the only instruction that we have, actually. But it looks like everything we are getting anyways. Yeah, the power of Toadette. Cool. Yeah. You, you don't see Mario doing something like that. So, what did that do? Because it didn't have a coin counter or anything, but... All right. So I guess maybe he is conquered, maybe forever? I don't know. Spin wheel cog ruins. Let's go for this one here. Uh, definitely a, a refreshing change of pace to have an actual level here. Uh, that actually doesn't do anything. Um, let's see here. Can we go? I don't think we can make it over there. No, I don't think so. Uh, we can't change those cogs over there. The ones that are like ahead of us right there. We can't change those. So we'll go for these ones for now. Um, so yeah, I saw him in concert. He was great. Kesha was awesome. She is a artist that uh, has a lot of songs that are popular or were popular. Well, they are still popular, but uh, they are songs from uh, like my middle school years. So uh, I'm actually going to freeze you right here. There we go. Cool. I probably should have done that on the other side as well. But oh well. Actually, we'll go with uh, this one here. And uh, ooh. Ooh. That looks complicated. That looks super complicated. Let's, uh, no, we can't actually get down there from this point. Huh, okay. Oh, by the way, to center this again is plus. You're gonna wanna press plus to recenter that. Um, let's see how we'll get around here. Get around that. Awesome. So, uh, Kesha has a, a very interesting fan base that I guess she makes it known that, uh, uh you're supposed to bring a ton of glitter. You bring a lot of glitter to the show and wear it. Uh, I didn't know that. And, uh, you know, I'm not really like, I'm not a Kesha fan. Like, I, I don't, I'm not a big listener of her music. But uh, I just thought it was a very interesting combination to have Kesha and Macklemore on the same tour. So I didn't find out about the whole glitter thing until I was there. And I felt very out of place being one of the... Uh, you know, there are obviously a ton of parents there bringing their 12-year-old teenage girls to a Kesha concert, but um, I didn't. I think that's what we're supposed to do. Yes, we got to go all the way over there. Um, you know, I felt very out of place not having any glitter on me. I, I, I think I missed out on 
uh, part of the experience of what the show was, but I, I just didn't, I, I didn't have any on me, so, I mean, how would I know to bring glitter to a concert? Would I have worn the glitter? Probably not, because that stuff gets glitter, it does get everywhere. It gets everywhere. We'll just go for the, go for the star. Um, could have done the complicated thing at the bottom, but that's all right. So there was a ton of glitter at this concert. It was really weird. You know, usually at a concert, there's a bug there too. Um, I mean, there are bugs at the concert. You know, you have really expensive water and food, but glitter is just not on the menu. You know, you don't really, well, I hope it's not on the menu, but like, oh, so that does change. Okay, cool. Can I change my perspective? There we go. I was, I was trying to do that, but I forgot I needed to move a little bit before it actually did change. All right. So let's go over here, grab this first. Fairly easy one right there. Um, where do we go? Uh, is it nothing inside of there? Okay, oh, right here, duh. What a dummy I am. So, yeah. You know what I also can't believe? A lot of you may not have gone to a concert yet. Concerts are really cool. They are super, like, really loud. Really, really, really loud. Uh, concerts are insanely loud, which, you know, is to be expected. It's a concert, right? But there's also the cost of the stuff that's all around you. And like I said, everything's really expensive. Uh, one of the things that was expensive, well, that are expensive at every concert, is, um, you know, the food. So that was actually really quick. Um, they were charging $7 for one bottle of water. Like a small bottle of water, like, like, big as my head. $7 for... The thing that's supposed to fuel you as a human being. Seven dollars. <laughs> really? And there's also the whole merchandise thing. So, now, if I ever have merchandise out, which I do, you can check it out if you want to. You can buy your official uh, Brian Saviano shirts and all that stuff. But, if I ever come out with a shirt... Wow, okay. Um, I forgot I needed to pluck him first. Uh, if I ever come out with a shirt, that's like forty-five dollars. Like a shirt, not even like a sweater, but oh jeez, okay. Like a shirt. That's forty-five dollars. Just 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 come up to me and be like, Brian, you've lost touch. You you can't do this. This isn't cool. This isn't what you're about. You can't be doing this sort of stuff, alright? And wow, I totally messed that up for myself too. Um Yeah, this isn't you. Don't do this. No. So they had there at uh at the concert a Kesha uh, tank top, which I did not indulge myself to get, unfortunately. I, I can't say I did. Unfortunately. I know. What a travesty, right? I did not. However, uh, this, um, this tank top was $60. A $60 tank top, ladies and gentlemen. Are you kidding me? How do you spend $60 on a tank top? I sound like I'm 40. I know. But still, come on. Really? Really? For 60 and the t-shirts were less expensive. So you would be spending more money for less fabric. Are you kidding me? Why? Why is that a thing? Don't do that. That's just, ah, uh, it's dumb. Like, it's just so dumb. And it's because it has Kesha on there and I'm clearly missing something about this puzzle right now, right? Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Let's just go back up here. Um, could I have just walked around? I don't think so. No, I had to... Oh, no, it was I was higher up on the platform. Okay. How do I get back over there? Oh! Oh, watch this. And then we go... Oh, no, wait. Huh? What? So maybe we go back over here? And head back all the way down? I'm gonna get off of here real quick. Oh, there we go. Can we get in... Can we not get inside? Oh, do we need to toss one of these things at the thing? So the white fences need to be up in order for this to unlock, and that's how you do it that way. So you need to get over to there, climb back up, and there you go. I had to restart the level just because I thought we needed the um, those enemies to toss at and get that done, but nope, we did not. So there we go. That's going to be our final course, because the next time we play Captain Toad at Treasure Tracker is going to be the last three levels of Episode 2, and we will conquer the other uh, coin crazy coin level. So I want to thank you guys and girls for listening and watching to this episode of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. I'll see you next time for more. Peace out. Bye.